Hello guys, Pablo here. Welcome to this video tutorial. Throughout this series we'll be developing a HTML5 app for BlackBerry 10 which uses WebWorks and the BBUI.js library for user interface. The app is going to look something like this. It's going to be an app for time tracking where I can create projects, um, for instance web app for a certain client. Um, I can delete projects as well and I can track time for a certain project. This will keep on tracking time um, whether the app is um, open or closed. Well, when it's closed it's not really tracking it but when it's open again it will um, resume. And on top of that you can um, you can see all the records, how many hours you've worked uh, on each project. And you can generate a very simple report which shows the total hours per project and <coughs> a pie chart with the time distribution, how you are spending your time. In order to create this, um, we'll be using the bbui.js library, which is being developed by BlackBerry and allows you to create a native user interface um, using HTML5. It connects deeply with WebWorks and the uh, underlying APIs. And one of its main key points is that it um, allows you to modify the DOM of the page, which is the structure, the elements of the page, before they are rendered onto the screen, which makes it a lot faster for uh, for, for DOM manipulation than, than when it's already on the screen, uh, which is what you do, say, with um, jQuery, or if, you, if you've used um, jQuery mobile that modifies the DOM once it's on the screen. This one can do it before it's displayed to the user. Um, we're going to start by uh, going to the Git repo, and you can download the zip file here. There's a, there's, there are plenty of uh, examples. Or you can clone the, the, the repo if you're familiar with Git, doesn't matter. And uh, let's look at our project structure. Um, we're going to create, we're, we're interested in the CSS file that comes with uh, the library. There's also the um, JavaScript file. And on top of that, we have a few other things in here. Let me show you. We have a config file, which is um, necessary when you create BlackBerry 10 or BlackBerry in general um, apps. It needs to include certain things, the name of the application, the name of the author. And let's look now at our index file. This is what's loaded um, on the, on the what I loaded on the Ripple emulator. The top part is the viewport uh, definition, which uh, tells the um, the device that the user cannot uh, change the zooming of the page, uh, so it's not the page is not scalable and it's shown with a one-to-one -one scale. It's not zoomed in or zoomed out, and that cannot be changed uh, by the user. Um, including here the style sheet, the uh, JavaScript library, and this line here. This is what you include in all um, what works apps. Um, it will um, give an error message on the console if you look at this at the Ripple emulator, but that's okay. Uh, don't worry about that. And what I'm doing here is listening for the WebWorks ready event, which is triggered with all when, when this is um, completely ready. And I'm initiating the BBUI library. And I'm also pushing the first um, screen. Screens here are HTML fragments that contain the different pages of your app. So they're all um, saved in different files. And let's look at our track.html page. See how um, you create divs and then you give them a data BB type. This one's a screen. I can say here that I want it to show the loading indicator while loading. And this is the content in here. So this is all very simple. Let's take a look at the Ripple emulator. So see how you get some um, stuff in here uh, regarding the, the WebWorks, but that's okay. And let me, I'm just going to reload the page. 
see how I, I get the, the hello world it's, uh, screen it's been pushed to the um, to the app uh, front and something else that I that I need to mention is that for some reason the the BBUI library tends to do a lot of caching in the browser when you have different screens and you keep on reloading the page uh, some of those pages are then um, repeated in your DOM it's like it stores them in a, in a cage and what I found that worked uh, great for me um, was to have a .ht access file in my in my project folder um, see that I'm here I'm using here a web server but you could also use a Ripple's web server I, I just prefer to use my uh, Apache web server and so I have this HD access file which basically um, what it does it disables all cache and by disabling all cache I don't run into issues uh, such as having the same pages um, more than loaded more than once because they were loaded the previous time. So that's just an advice. It worked for me. Might be different in your system. Okay, so we have our hello world up and running, and that means we're ready to move on to developing the actual app.